today I'm doing an experiment to see how well water slide decals cut in a laser. Um, it is safe to cut. I'm going to check that information out. Um, and it is also laminated. So I have a, I don't to make anybody dizzy here. I have a 15 by 15 heat press that I used to laminate the puzzle. And I also used um, fusion adhesive, which looks like one of those rolls. So very, very thin adhesive that melts in the heat press. And then I glued the water slide decal using the heat press to this piece of wood. And now I wanna see how it's going to look once it's cut. Oh, my screen is so dirty. Just wanna show you real quick what my pieces look like. I did a hand draw those on my iPad. Just used a circle and brought in some silhouettes. So the silhouettes I most, most of them I did not draw. Um, and then I just drew the connecting pieces uh, between the silhouettes. I use custom settings of 140 and 100 for my um, Pure Bond Columbia wood that I buy from Home Depot. Let me just show you those settings real quick. Uh, 140 speed and 100 precision power. I don't do full power because I find that I don't like the charring as much um, and the slow speed with not the full power doesn't give me that um, too much charring on the back. And then here's my circle, which will finish out the puzzle. Um, and I think we're good to go. It measures about 0 0.13, 0 0.14, and um, we'll inches, and we'll see what happens. My puzzle is cut, and it looks pretty good. I haven't even cleaned it up yet and it already looks uh, really fantastic. So the way I clean up my puzzle is just to remove a little bit of that um, laser soot and to also not have to mask it is I use generic uh, magic erasers. I get them wet and then I wipe off the front and with the lamination everything comes right up, no problem. So let me do that and I'm going to move it onto my um, work desk and we're going to give it a closer look. I wanted to show what it looks like when it comes right out of the laser. Um, it's got a ton of burn marks and um, it is not the look I prefer to go with. So once again, I do use a magic eraser um, and that takes off a lot of the set. And then sometimes I just touch it up with my sander down there um, and that gets off most of the soot um, and it looks pretty good. So I will show you what that looks like uh, once I'm done with it. Okay, so here we have it just post magic eraser. As you can see, most of those soot marks are gone and I'm pretty pleased with it. I did not sand this. Um, I will wait until it dries and then decide if I need to just do a quick sanding. But usually this is um, pretty good for me and I don't find that I need to invest a lot of extra effort into uh, sanding and removing more of the back. Um, after this dries, I will add mineral oil and that will give it a nice kind of velvety feel on the back. Here is the puzzle, post mineral oil. Just a little bit of my rag there. Um, and it looks good, nice and clean. Um, very, very little soot marks on there. So I just need to kind of dust off, I guess, those little pieces and it's good. Let's flip it over. Dun, 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 dun. Final product. I think it turned out excellent. I love that the um, you can see the pieces, but you can actually see the entire message. That is sometimes a concern with pieces that are too small. You just the message of the overall puzzle gets completely um, lost. So you can see it cleaned up very well. Um, and I call this a success.